Hey guys, Arthur here. Um, today I would like to show you how you can use ENS, which is Ethereum name service in your React.js applications. I will keep the whole React code uh, to the minimum so you can use the same technique for any other JavaScript framework or library. Um, and I will show you basically how to turn this ugly public um, address into the ENS. And if you are not familiar what the ENS is, it's a decentralized uh, naming service for wallets and websites. So for instance, you can buy your handle here and use it instead of a public address. So for instance, here you can purchase for two years your name dot if and connect it to your public address wallet. And then whenever somebody use uh, your name dot if um, cryptocurrency wallet that will recognize um, this name as your address. ENS is represented as a NFTs, so it lives on the blockchain. So whenever you would like to transfer your name to somebody else or even sell it like some crypto kitties or some other NFTs, it's all possible. Um, so for instance, here you can see that uh, this is the Vitalik address. And if I type here Vitalik.if, um, you can see that if I search for that, uh, then we can find the name. And the reason for that is because Vitalik owns this ENS um, handle and it's connected to this wallet address. So now let's try to do it uh, in our application. At the moment, it's does very simple thing. It's it's just a regular React JS form. You can find the link to this code sandbox in the description down below. So feel free to play with this code. And right now I will just add some logic um, to this um, React JS code that we are able to turn um, this public address into the name. So we are basically able to resolve uh, that. Um, name. So we're going to use uh, eaters. Eaters.js is a library which allows you to communicate with smart contracts and some transactions and so on. And the eaters.js, it also supports uh, resolving the names of the ENS. It's also possible to do it on your own. So you can call smart contracts and just try to get this information straight from the smart contracts. However, it's not that easy because you have to be familiar uh, with um, calculating the hash and normalizing the, the names, um, how to get the address of the smart contract and then interact with it. So I think it's um, a lot of steps, a lot of manual work. So I will just use the built in um, eaters uh, function for that. So whenever we are um, calling blockchain, of course, we need to have the provider. So I will start with um, preparing um, provider which would be just new eaters providers json uh, rpc provider and here i will use just uh, my infura key and then i will uh, prepare some hook that i will call it for instance use uh, ns so it would be use uh, ENS and uh, it will take no parameters um, and I will just prepare the function that I will name it um, get name so get name and uh, this function would be responsible for querying um, the ENS smart contracts for some address. So of course, we're going to need here the address. And then we can just use provider and we can call the function lookup address and then pass the address. And then this is the um, promise. So of course, we have to resolve that promise. So it would be uh, resolved uh, name. And then we can and just um, return the resolved name or the address. So either if we are whenever we call the get name function, we want to first of all to look up the address. And if we have any resolved name, we will return it. But in any other case, we will just return uh, the address. So if it's undefined or null or something is wrong, then we, we, we can just return um, the, the address. Um, I will uh, maybe 
just right here is some console logs so we'll see that fetching uh, address of course you can add here some loading spinners or anything that you think it's useful for your application as i said i, I will just keep the code uh, minimum and then um, of course we need to call this function somewhere here in the handle submit so whenever somebody um, hits the resolve name we would like to call the get name function um, and show that names um, and of course um, in our application we might have a lot of um, addresses so i will maybe prepare some state um, that i will keep record of all fetched addresses um, so um, it will be use state uh, with some empty object. So whenever I fetch um, some address, I will um, store it. So maybe we can just write set names. Um, I will take the previous um, stage. Um, so it will be, of course, that way. Um, so it will be all the stuff that was previously on the object and then I will assign the address and the address of course would be resolved name or address. So I think um, this should work. Um, so we have the names here and now we can just use the hook. So I will write it that way. So it will be get name and names uh, and of course it's use ENS hook. Um, of course, we have to return um, these um, guys. So it would be names and um, get name, of course. Um, so these functions are returned now, and I will just call the get name. Um, so it would be the address, which is, of course, something typed into this form. Uh, so it would be get name um, and here we can just display all the stuff that we uh, resolved because um, obviously we want to have this on the UI. Um, so I will just maybe write it like object keys. So, so it will return me the array of all the uh, attributes. Um, so it will be um, so it would be uh, basically names. Uh, I will iterate over um, this array um, and then I can just return here um, the paragraph which will have the key as a key uh, to don't have any ugly um, react.js warnings and here I will just write maybe key which would be the address and of course we need to get the handle so it would be uh, names key so it would be the value basically right so um, I think it should work so let's try with with Vitalik first um, so I think it was the um, address of Vitalik and if we type it here um, then we can resolve the name um, and you can see that this is the Vitalik Buterin um, handle and of course um, if we click the resolve name um, twice uh, we are still fetching the blockchain which is not super efficient so I will maybe write something like um, if names address if, if, if we already looked up the address we'll just return the names address so um, simple stuff but we will not um we will not call the the blockchain twice so we can resolve the name you can see that there is the fetching address we have the vitalik and next time we can just return um, this name so as you can see it's quite easy uh, you can use eters uh, you can use some other libraries um, there are a lot of options you can use ens.js um, library Ethers Web3 or any other, or you can even try to uh, get uh, the, the names uh, manually by just interacting with uh, the contracts. So that's it for today. Thanks for your attention and see you on this channel.